Hi everyone, this is Heath from um, MutechTeacherNet.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Soundflower on your Mac uh, as an output that you can use as an input for your DAW. Uh, if you've ever found anything uh, on the on the web that's uh, maybe some kind of uh, tone generator or a rhythmic generator like Beat Lab or Incredibox or Groove Pizza, and you thought that's really cool. I'd like to record that to my doll. It's frustrating because uh, there's not really a way that you can do that without having um, some way to create an output uh, from your uh, web browser that you can then use as an input. Um, well, Soundflower uh, solves that problem. Um, it's a free audio system extension that allows applications such as your web browser uh, to pass audio to other applications like your DAW. So it is a free download. So uh, once you make this download, uh, it'll have that installed in, onto your computer. Now, once you do that, if you go into your DAW, and for this I'm going to be using GarageBand, uh, if you go into GarageBand and select your preferences to set your input and output device, you can see that you can select Soundflower as an input. Um, it's running as an output from uh, your web browser, uh, but then you can use that output as an input for the DAW. Now, uh, with your output device, you can use your system setting, or if you're using uh, a USB audio interface that you're running your sound through uh, you set your output device uh, the way that you'd like to have it. Now once you have that set up if you go back into the web uh, to record something into GarageBand uh, it will work but it'll be a little frustrating because you won't be able to hear anything. Um, Soundflower works as a direct output uh, from your web browser into your DAW um, and so it doesn't create an output that you can actually hear so it would be nice to be able to actually hear what you're recording uh, but there is a solution to that so once you have Soundflower installed you're going to go into your finder under applications and in their applications you're going to select utilities and you should see a utility called audio MIDI setup so you're going to open your audio MIDI setup and you can see Right now, your audio devices you have listed are your built-in microphone, your built-in output. Uh, I'm using a, a Blue Snowball uh, to record my voice for videos like this. And then you have now two Soundflower options, the 2-channel and the 64-channel. Um, for what I use in my classroom and for personal use, 2-channel is usually plenty. Um, but what we need to do is uh, you have the option down here. Uh, if you click on this plus button, to either create an aggregate device or create a multi-output device. So we're going to create a multi-output device. So I'm going to select that. And now over here, you can see that I can choose, uh, the default is built-in output, but I'm going to add Soundflower uh, as an output. Now if you have a, um, as I said, a USB audio interface, uh, you can also select that as part of the multi-output also. So once you have that created, now I'm going to come down here to settings and I'm going to select this as use this device for sound output. So now that I have this multi output device set up, um, anytime I'm using this, it is going to have Soundflower uh, outputting from our applications, but at the same time, it's going to simultaneously use our built in output. Um, or any other outputs that we have to choose from. Now in this way, when I'm recording from the web into my DAW, I'm going to be able to hear what I'm recording, which is going to be very helpful. So now that I have that set up, um, let's not do that now. I'm going to go back into GarageBand. Now in GarageBand, when I go back to my preferences, I should be able to select as my input um, you're not going to see the multi-output device, you're just going to see the Soundflower, and that's all I need, because it's going to be using the Soundflower output uh, as the input into my DAW. I'm still going to be hearing uh, my system setting uh, as a separate device that's working as an output from the application. Um, 
and then I can uh, select uh, or I can select my output device here as I said uh, before so once you have Soundflower set up that way and you use your uh, audio MIDI setup to create a multi output device you can now record uh, things uh, from the internet sound sources from the internet uh, directly into your doll which is a pretty cool thing to do um, now uh, some other things out there there are some applications that are pretty neat uh, like Groove Pizza and uh, Soundtrap if you're using Soundtrap uh, as your doll in your classroom uh, Groove Pizza is um, a really cool uh, web-based uh, app out there by MuseEd Lab um, where you can create rhythms and uh, in applications like that you can actually uh, download those directly into Soundtrap or download those, those as MIDI files. Um, but if you don't have that set up or if you're using something from the web uh, that won't directly download uh, uh, as a MIDI file, uh, this multi-output device is a great way to do that. So I hope that you this video was helpful and I wish you uh, lots of wonderful creative uh, ideas going on uh, in your music classroom. Best of luck.